Well, hello, and welcome to the Sad Art Gallery. Won't you come in? Now, usually in art galleries, you're not allowed to touch the artwork, but I know the guy that owns this gallery, and I think he'll make a few exceptions for me. The Sad Art Gallery is unfortunately not open to the public. However, today, we're taking a virtual tour. Do you ever get the feeling like somebody's looking at you? How about right now? Well, this weird looking guy right here could never be me because he has a little bit of hair on top and I definitely don't. All right, all right, you got me. I actually did this painting over 10 years ago in university. It's a portrait and yes, it's a portrait of me. Now at the time I was low on canvas, which is what I painted this on. And in fact, there's actually a different painting underneath it and I reused the canvas and painted this instead. Is he looking at me right now? Oh gosh, I know it, he is, right? Now many artists over time have actually done the same thing where they use an old canvas and paint something on top of it. It was discovered that the famous painting Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci actually has a different woman painted underneath her. When money was tight, Pablo Picasso used to take old paintings and add layer after layer of paint on top of it until the new one looked very different from when it first started. Shall we continue? Now, a few summers ago, when you used to be able to go places, my brother, also a teacher, only he's a professor, and I took a trip down the west coast of the United States, and we stopped at a rest stop at the side of the highway in California. Well, naturally, I took this opportunity to do some roadside karate. I don't know anything about karate. I mean, there was a lot of karate on that trip. Now, in the background of some of those pictures that my brother took were these really cool, kind of fuzzed out mountains. And I loved how some of them were a little bit bolder and some of them were a little bit blurrier. So I decided I would paint a very simple mountainscape of that very day in California. And I put a pretty jazzy frame on it too. Now, unfortunately, the cafeteria is closed at the Sad Gallery right now. However, if you know anything about me, you know I have a lifelong love for hamburgers. And back when I was a student in university, we had to do a piece of artwork that showed some things change over time. And I couldn't think of a better thing to showcase than a tray full of delicious food. Now each drawing took about five hours to finish and I didn't use any shading at all, only cross hatching. That's where I make lines that go one way and back in the opposite direction. And you can see here the tray of untouched food, the burger calling my name, the fry shooting out like a festival of fun from its container. Now these drawings were done just over 10 years ago and I based these drawings off the Wendy's Baconator. Now I also took reference photos of my meal as I ate it so I had an idea of what my drawings would end up looking like. Who's hungry? Anybody hungry? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? All right, and we're almost near the end of our tour today, but what tour wouldn't be complete with one piece of artwork that didn't make us all say at the same time? Aww. This one's of my dog. She likes to go for car rides, loves to sleep, and sometimes toots on the carpet. Sometimes it just sneaks out. And just like your pet, mine is special in its own unique way. She does this funny thing when you ask her a question and you start with the word do, that her eyes get real big and her ears come forward and she tilts her head. So cute. Now there's one more thing that I want to say before I wrap up today's tour of the Sad Art Gallery. I meet a lot of kids and they take a look at my artwork and they say, well, compared to yours, my artwork's not very good. Well, I'm 36 years old and if your artwork looked like mine, I think that might be weird. Because simply put, your artwork should look like yours. It's great to find inspiration in other people's artwork, but your artwork came from you and that makes it special. And if sometimes you get discouraged, sometimes it's great to take a step back Think about it for a little while, and then try again later. And make no mistake, adults get frustrated too, so you're not alone. So thanks for joining me today at the Sad Art Gallery, and as we wrap up today's tour, I thought I'd leave you with a little something special. 